Hi, this is Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews, and today I am going to be reviewing the campaign on Blu-ray and have a chance to win a free DVD. Just stick around to the end and I'll have all the details. The campaign extended cut starring Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis. Um, this movie is rated R, an 85 minute runtime, and this is a comedy. Um, so, Will Ferrell plays a senator or congressman, I can't remember, um, for some town. <laughs> Details aren't that important, but I think this is either his fourth or fifth term unopposed, and he's kind of, he's kind of like you would imagine, like a D-bag politician, where he, he just tells the people what they want to hear, and he doesn't necessarily really try to do much of anything, and, um, so there's these two guys played by Bill, Mer <laughs> Bill, Bill Murray and um, John Lithgow, and they're like their their plan doesn't even make any sense, and I'm pretty sure it's not even possible. Um, they're gonna buy up all this property in this town, and they're gonna put factories on it, and then they're gonna sell them to China, and China's gonna own own them. I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. And then they're going to basically be sweatshops, and whoever they get to win is going to try to get, like, wage laws passed, and I, I, don't, I don't even know everything. Just their plan is to get somebody in office to get these things done for them so they can save all the money of shipping stuff from China because it's just too expensive. <laughs> and so they pick uh, one of their friends is the dad of Zach Galifianakis, and so... They don't really tell him this, they just start his campaign. And um, they hire this guy, let's see, it was played by um, Dylan McDermott. This is the thing I thought was the funniest. His name is Tim Watley. Now, uh, anyone who is a fan of Seinfeld knows that there was a character on Seinfeld named Tim Watley. And so, it just seems kind of strange they would use that same name. But, um, so he's kind of like the campaign manager and he's going to kind of spin everything and make it all right. And, you know, this this movie had a lot of promise. Um, I think it, it falls short, really, of Will Ferrell's abilities, and I'm starting to wonder if Zach Galifianakis in um, The Hangover Part 1 is, like, the only good Zach Galifianakis, because I really haven't seen anything else that I thought he was all that great in. Um, so, basically, they end up start having this kind of uh, war back and forth, like smear campaigns or whatever you call it, and um, Zach Galifianakis is like a nice guy. They're both pretty nice guys, though. They don't they're not neither of them are like real bad guys. They're just both trying to win, and he's kind of like uh, Zach Galifianakis is kind of like really nice though, really Christian, I believe he was, yeah, and um, just an overall nice guy. And so you know they're just kind of going back and forth trying to outdo each other. Ne neither of them are, you know, obviously neither of them are trying to show that they are better. They're just trying to show the other guys worse, basically. And, um, but I think it falls short. There aren't really that many laughs in this. There, there were a couple, but nothing I thought that was, like, hilarious. And, um, I, I didn't watch any of the special features on this one, just because, uh, I didn't, I didn't care for the movie all that much. I mean, it's not a terrible movie, just it, it falls short on the laughs. So for a score on this movie, I think I will just only give it a 2.5, which is a little bit below IMDB users, but maybe they have a little bit different sense of humor than I do. I just didn't find this all that funny. So all the rules will be in the description below. Basically, you just have to be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment and also rate the video. Um, haven't heard from last week's uh, winner, so I'm not sure what he wants. So we got to subtract whatever he wants, but these are your choices. Night at the Museum, sealed copy, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, used copy DVD, or The Dark Knight, sealed copy DVD. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.